Hey everyone, and welcome to another Yogi Misfit session. I'm Danny Pomploon, and I'm your host. Today, I have a student of mine, Lynette Bruno, on the show. Lynette, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. It's uh, it's bright and early and chilly. <laughs> this sounds like the perfect morning to me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you're also crazy and wake up at like the crack of dawn. <laughs> me, mm, not so much. Like 10 o'clock is my normal wake up time. Oh my goodness. 10 o'clock, <laughs> half the day is over. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you normally get up? Eh, between 5 and 5.30. Why? <laughs> well, I have a puppy, actually, and, it, and he wakes up when he's got to go. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Mom no longer has a time schedule. Uh, exactly. Well, welcome to the show. I'm really, um, I'm really excited. We've had a few teachers on the show in, in the most recent shows, and so I really wanted to get some more perspective from students. And so a little bit of background for the listeners. So Lynette is actually one of my students um, that I met at um, a corporate class that I teach. Um, she is the VP of communications at Trulia, um, which is also um, part of uh, the Zillow company. Um, and they do like um, online. Uh, it's like, a, I don't know, Lynette, talk more about it. It's I, I can't describe it as good as you can. <laughs> yeah, so Trulia is a company that's under... Zillow Group's umbrella, and Zillow Group houses both consumer and business brands, all empowering our consumers with data to make the best real estate decisions. So it could be either you're renting, you're looking for a place, you can find that on Zillow Group, and you can also find your next house to buy on Trulia or Zillow. It's funny because I used to use the app all the time just to dream about which houses I could never buy. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, and then I got connected with you guys, which was super cool. So um, I, I met her just recently, actually, and she's uh, she's a firecracker. She's super awesome. Um, she's got a great upbeat attitude, and so I figured she would be a perfect person to uh, to have on the show. So that being said, let's get started, Lynette. Why yoga? So I started practicing yoga pretty regularly about 16 years ago. And what I really love then and still today is that it gives me absolute freedom. It really represents freedom for me in so many different ways. I am a person that tends to be in my head often and it sometimes gets cluttered. And I found that each class, an hour and a half of just focusing either on my breath or a pose at hand I wasn't really thinking about anything else. And I've never really experienced that before with any other type of um, exercise, class, activity, whatever it may be. I really was in the moment. And to me, that's the ultimate freedom. Wait, so you're telling me that you're a VP of a certain department in your company and your head is jumbled with things? No way. <laughs> Yeah, I'm often thinking about everything or whatever's next. So <laughs> I, I mean, an hour and a half to get away from that is amazing. How did you? Um, so well, I didn't even know you've been practicing for 16 years. Although I mean, because you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have an awesome oh. practice. You have a great practice. How did you? Um, how did you get started in your practice? Like, what was your segue into into yoga? I had just finished graduate school and I moved to San Francisco and a Bikram yoga studio was within walking distance and I thought, oh, I wonder what this is all about. Wow, it looks really steamy in there. <laughs> You're like, hey, and... they opened up a new sauna nearby. Let's go, girls. <laughs> and I ended up trying it out, which I can't believe because I can't stand the heat and I actually really enjoyed it. Again, it goes back to that freedom and just really focusing. And I liked too that it was, um, you know, certain poses each time because I don't really think I'm the most coordinated person. And I felt <laughs> like I could learn to master without a crazy flow. Sometimes I get lost in all the flow, but anyway, that's really my first experience. And then I started trying all kinds of yoga and finding instructors that I really loved and 
I, I went away a little at, for blocks of time, but I always came back and just really enjoyed every single class. I just, I love it. I think we all have our uh, our moments where we kind of step away from the practice for a little bit. But the cool thing is it's it's always there for us. Right. I mean, even the breathing. I use the breathing techniques all the time. You know, I feel like for some new students, I want to just tell them, you know, just focus on the breath. Right. I, and I feel like most people come into a class thinking they need to sweat. In fact, uh, I hope I'm not the church goer that forces yoga on people, but I may be with my closest friends. When they come to visit, I make them take a class with me. And some of them say, well, I, I really want to sweat. I don't really enjoy it. And it really isn't about that. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. And often those are the people that need it even more. Right. But anyways, I digress. Focusing on the breath for the class is so important. And I think for new students, they often miss that. I think that's a really good point, though. I think, um, you know, a lot of people I've said this a few times now on this show, like a lot of people do get into it because they want to get a good workout. And then it's like something happens when you start practicing and you can't even describe it. We've I mean, we've tried talking about it a couple times with, with different people, and you can't really describe how it happens or when it happens or you know what moment it happens in. But it does happen where you're like, oh, it's not just about this other thing. There's actually a lot more that goes into it that I can benefit from. Right, right. So what's your um? All right, so you started with Bikram. I did that too. I loved it. I loved the heat for a really long time. And I loved the that it was, I knew what I was getting into every single time. What yeah. is your, uh, what's your jam now? Like what's your, what's your, what's your, if you're, you're dis, describe your perfect yoga date. <laughs> you know, I, I like all types of yoga, I would say, but Hatha is one, um, you know, the crazy wild vinyasa, I really have to, prep myself for mentally. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when I'm feeling really wild and crazy, I enjoy going on Saturdays to the 4.30 vinyasa class. And then right after, they offer an hour and 45-minute restorative class. Oh, the little double entendre, if you will. Yes. It is really great because it's the perfect way to wind down from the vinyasa. But you've got to have a good block of time for that because it's over three hours. That's like a little salty and a little sweet. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds perfect right. to me. Yeah, that's a good combo. That's like wine and chocolate. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know what? I was mentioning earlier, and again, for, for the people listening. So Lynette is actually a student of mine. Uh, I go to her office twice a week and... Um, I teach yoga to, uh, to, to, to everyone there that, that obviously shows up. And what's cool is this is one of the first corporate yoga classes I've had where it's, the class has gotten really big. I think, you know, I come on a, on a Tuesday and, you know, when I first started, it was a little bit smaller and I haven't been there for too, too long, but now we get up to like 15, sometimes 20 people in there, which is like, that's crazy to me. I, I mean, one, I think it's super awesome. Um, two, I think it's great that, you know, um, that the company is offering it and three, that people are like getting hyped up and jazzed about it. So that all being said, you know, what, um, let's talk about what, what yoga in the workplace is like and, you know, how that affects and, and what you see that, um, you know, that direction of, of yoga going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's an amazing perk that Zillow Group offers yoga classes for free for employees twice a week in the San Francisco office. I mean, I, it's just, it's such a great perk to me and I really encourage my team members to go and take advantage of it. And I hope by um, showing up that it encourages other people to show up because if I can find time it, you know, you can't use the time for an excuse. So I try and block it on my calendar um, for each week. You know, obviously things come up where it can't happen. But I find that even when I'm stressed out or in the middle and make time for that one hour, that I feel more relaxed afterwards and ready to accomplish whatever it may be. And that's what I love. It's almost a mini vacation in the middle of your day. Right. How long have they uh, they offered yoga over at uh, Trulia? 
It's been off and on uh, for over a year now. Okay, so it's a newer program. Yeah, it's a newer program, and they offer it at other locations as well. In Seattle, I I know that they offer yoga, and I believe in the New York office as well. Do we know how it got started as a perk, or how that came up, or? Well, I know I've mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure others, I mean, it, it's just a great opportunity. I mean, this, this company really does stand for work-life balance and they really value health. And uh, in addition to yoga classes being offered, a lot of the leadership team participate in, you know, Tough mutters, and each employee when they join receives a Fitbit to track their fitness so they're really supportive. They also offer a perk towards each month, towards a gym membership and or a yoga studio, whatever it may be, to really uh, value your health and taking care of yourself. I think it's an important part of our everyday. Wow, that's awesome. What um, what have you seen, if any? Like, have you seen any of your team members, or just you know, any? There, there's there's a lot of people that go to the classes that you run into at work. Um, and even in cafeteria talk, what do you, what do you hear? Like, what's the buzz from the, from, from the yoga classes or how people are feeling about it or like afterwards? No, oh, I mean, it's how you feel. It's how everyone listening feels. They feel great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or, or, uh, really enjoy the challenge too. I think, you know, for some newer students that have never tried, this is a safe, welcoming opportunity to try it out and you know it doesn't cost them anything but an hour of their time and so they can experiment a little bit more or get in touch with whatever it is that they're working on and I think it also really matters how the teacher is and I think you've been great at encouraging people to take a risk or try a new pose or go further than you've done you know the week before or years before so I think that's really matters as well oh that's good that that's actually that's good that's the first time i'm hearing this that's good to know <laughs> yeah no people are really happy with you i think it's been uh you're you've been a great addition that's a, well it's great having you on the show let's talk more about me no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice to uh you know it's been it's been really awesome to i actually look forward to to going to this class um all the time i talk to my partner about it all the time when i'm when i'm headed down there i always it, it, one, I feel like I'm hanging out with a group of friends, and two, like I've actually have seen, you know, in the last, you know, three four months that I've been there, I've seen, you know, people's practices just start to progress, and and I've started to, without even asking, I've just been like sprinkling in a few more things, you know, when I first started there, it was like, okay, let's let's get to know everybody and see where they're at and and um i I would start with a really uh we'll call it more of a mellow practice i guess if if that makes any sense but now i've been just like you know adding stuff in and like really you know our our warm-up has been getting pretty pretty hot to, to to say the least and people have just been like getting right after it like they are actually everyone i feel like everyone's actually looking forward to it like people show up ready to go yeah yeah i mean you could use that as a metaphor for life and work, the more challenge, you, the more you can handle too. Right. I think don't underestimate people is always what surprises me. And, and the thing that I really love about yoga too, and this is what I tell family, friends, uh, is that anyone can do yoga and your every body is different. And, you know, I may not be able to do a handstand perfectly, Um, because I'm not as strong in that area or, but someone else that can't touch his toes, for example, can do a perfect handstand. Everyone is built differently and you can do it at any age. I just, I just love that part of yoga. Anyone can do it and it doesn't matter what your body size is, how old it is or whatnot. You can do it. 100%. Yeah. You can do it. I mean, you can do it at a gym. You can do it in the workplace. You can do it at home. You can do it at a studio. You can do it at the park. Um, right. I mean, it's, you can do it anyway. I've, I've done it on planes before. <laughs> I bet it's helpful. I was that guy on a trip on a 12 hour <laughs> uh, uh, flight to, uh, to China where I was like in the middle of the aisle doing stretches <laughs> to get my legs open. Oh, that's funny. I can see it. Maybe you encourage the whole flight to participate. Uh, That would be awesome. Can you imagine? (laughs) All right, everyone, stay in your seats, but inhale. (laughs) 
<laughs> so what would you say, I guess, to, to, uh, to people that are, let's say, in a workplace environment and mm -hmm. that they, uh, they offer yoga at their workplace to, uh, to get them maybe like encouraged to try it out? Are you getting sick of sitting at your desk? Do you feel a constant crack in your <laughs> neck? Perhaps you should try yoga. <laughs> This is a good sell. This is good. I mean, come on. Do you feel like you're staring into space and your mind is cluttered forever? <laughs> <laughs> Try yoga. <laughs> What's the next thing we're going to implement over there? Maybe nap time? Mandatory nap time? Wait, they've already asked for it. Napping pods. You know, some workplaces do offer that, but we do not. <laughs> I'm not a good napper, though, to be honest with you. It's that mind still going. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're able to uh, to find a little bit of an escape out of your day, you know, even if it's just uh, twice a week while you're at work with, with an hour of yoga class. And I, I appreciate the kind feedback. That's really sweet of you. Um, we're about to uh, to wrap it up. Is there anything else, Annette, you'd like to say to the listeners before we uh, before we head out? Just to try it out, breathe, focus on breath for your first few classes if you're a beginner, that you'll find the freedom is there to go beyond what you may not be doing if you're huffing and puffing. So breath is really at the core. Yeah, and, and that's, it, it, I, I agree. I love that so much. That is all we have for you today, guys. Have a great day um, and the rest of your week or whatever day you're in in your week. And uh, yeah, till the next session, this is Danny and Lynette saying ta-ta. Ta-ta, toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs>